if you're promoted. Oh, shoot. oh, it's just like the old days. Welcome to Miss Mojo. And today we're counting down our picks for the best outtakes from The Office, wherein John Krasinski just couldn't hold it together. You want a carpool? <laughs> Number 10, Last Minute Kevin. Apparently, Brian Baumgartner makes Krasinski laugh. Hey, Jim. Hey, what's up? Hey. Um, I know it's last minute, but I was wondering if... <laughs> what? Baumgartner plays Kevin Malone on The Office, and in this simple scene, all Krasinski does is turn towards him and a smile breaks out across his face. In the second take, he tries looking away, but again, that smile. After that, both Krasinski and Baumgartner take turns breaking pretty much every time they look at each other. It's not even a big comedic scene. Hey. Hey. Um, I know it's last minute, but I was wondering if it would be... <laughs> No, that was you. But as fans of the office bloopers know, once the adorable Krasinski starts breaking, it's very hard for him to stop. I was wondering if it would be cool if I brought my... <laughs> oh my god. Wait. It's casual, so I'm not really worried about numbers or anything. Cool. All right. <laughs> Thanks. Number nine, dynamics in the workplace. Again, as with the previous outtake, we aren't quite sure what gets Krasinski going on this one, but boy, does he get going. Basically, the dynamics of... <laughs> All right. So much so that in the second take, you can still see his face is a little red from cracking up on the previous one. And speaking of that second take, while Rain Wilson was kind of able to hold it together the first time, he also loses it in the next take. Basically. Within the workplace. <laughs> and speaking of red faces, both guys have faces the colour of ripe tomatoes after the laughing fit they go through on that one. Basically. Within the workplace. <laughs> Number eight, a full desagulation. There's a very funny scene in the season three episode, Women's Appreciation, in which Dwight threatens Jim with a demerit and gives him a lengthy rundown of what the consequences of one is. That'll land you in a world of hurt in the form of a disciplinary review written up by me and placed on the desk of my immediate superior. Which would be me. That is correct. In response, Jim threatens Dwight with the possibility of a full disadulation. What is a disadulation, you ask? We don't know. We don't think Jim knows either, but it's funny. You will receive a full disadulation. What's a dis... What's that? Oh, you don't want to know. So much so that Krasinski can't quite make it through his threat before a huge smile appears on his face and he has to sit down and try again. You will receive a full desagulation. What's that? <laughs> Number seven, how often can you donate blood? In the season four Survivor Man episode, Michael is angry and jealous that Ryan invited Toby on a company wilderness retreat, but didn't invite him. He decides that he wants to go camping and invites Jim, hypothetically, to come with him. And you know what hypothetical means. Not real. Got it. So if I were to hypothetically ask you to go camping mm -hmm. with me, would you go? Absolutely, yes. When Michael plays the hypothetical game, I always say yes. Jim says that he would go, but he can't because he's donating blood. Apparently, Jim has used that excuse before because Michael questions him about how often one can do it. Oh, you want to go today? And I am always busy. Oh, can't go today because I'm donating blood. How often can you actually donate blood? Is there a limit? In this outtake, you'll see things going great with both Karel and Krasinski, looking like they're going to make it through the scene in good form. But obviously, there was laughter building up in John's body, because when the camera comes back to him, he bursts. Is there a limit? I don't I thought there was. Well, your body only has a certain amount. <laughs> <laughs> Number six, you're not real. One of our favorite secondary characters on the show is Creed Bratton. The weird, unconventional anomaly that is Creed has some of the most outlandish and funniest lines of the series. I open up a Word document on his computer and put an address at the top. I've read some of it. Even for the internet, it's 
pretty shocking. And his humor isn't lost on the cast either, particularly John Krasinski in this great little outtake. After Creed fills Oscar in on what's gone on in the office while he was away, Jim looks at Oscar and tells him he's pretty sure none of that is real. Whole big thing. We had a funeral for a bird. I'm pretty sure none of that's real. You're not real, man. To which Creed responds that Jim isn't real. It's a perfect Creed line, and in at least one of the takes, it causes one of those super cute smiles to appear on Krasinski's face. We had a funeral for a bird. I'm pretty sure none of that's real. You're not real. <laughs> huh? Number five, what are you doing here? In the Fun Run episode, Pam accidentally walks in on Michael, half unclothed in his office, the lower half. See how I did that? That's the way you should enter a room. You knock and then you wait for the all clear. You couldn't have taken off all your clothes in the men's room? Yes, but I have an office, so why would I do that? Mm -hmm. Later on in the episode, Jim pokes fun at Michael's decision to go unclothed in his office by doing one of his on-camera interviews topless and sarcastically questioning if they were at a French beach. Oh. I'm sorry, is this a working office and not a French beach? He follows that line with a classic Jim Rye smile. However, in one of the previous takes, rather than a funny quip and a smile, Krasinski couldn't even get to the quip before busting a gut and having to start over again. What are you doing here? <laughs> Number four, pre-fired. Don't make me fire you. You can't fire me. You're acting manager, not office manager, so you have no firing powers. Don't make me pre-fire you. You wouldn't dare. We all know that sitting too much isn't good for us, which is why you get those reminders from your Apple Watch to stand up every now and then. Well, on this particular day of shooting, John Krasinski didn't need reminders from his Apple Watch because he had the pre-fired scene, which kept him rising to his feet over and over again. You wouldn't dare. <laughs> oh, man. And when I get promoted, you're full fired. If you get promoted, ah. In the scene, Krasinski is meant to stand up, make his statement to Dwight, and that is that. However, as you can see in these bloopers, it took Krasinski multiple tries to get through it without laughing, each time standing up, breaking character, sitting back down, and trying again. You're pre-fired. And when I'm promoted, you're full fired. If you're promoted. <laughs> oh, it's just like the old days. Number three, screw you. In this scene, Kelly is super angry at Jim and Dwight for forgetting her birthday and responds to their attempted apology with a harsh screw you to both of them. We just want to say we are very sorry. Screw you guys, you're dead to me. If you say screw you one more time... Yeah, screw I'm... you, beef I didn't forget guys, your birthday, guys, I would never guys, do that. Oh, hey, guys, hey! Guys, guys. We just want to make it up to you, what can we do? As we saw in an earlier outtake, Krasinski and Rain Wilson seem to have a special knack for cracking each other up during takes, and this scene with the two of them and Mindy Kaling is another great and hysterical example of that. Screw you guys, you're dead to me. If you say screw you one more time... Screw I'm... you, beat farmer! Whoa, okay oh. guys. <laughs> <laughs> I did the face you like. After Kelly's harsh retort, Wilson looks over at Krasinski, and that's all it takes for him to break. Wilson even called the look he gave Krasinski the face you like. Like it or not, the look gets Krasinski laughing through at least another couple of takes. If you say screw you one yeah, more time... Screw you, Beat Farmer. Hey, guys, just cool it. You knew. <laughs> you knew that one was bad. <laughs> Number two, Carpool. All Jim has to do in this scene is turn down Michael's offer to carpool to the cocktail party. Jimbo, last chance to carpool. Sorry. You want to carpool? <laughs> <laughs> sure, it sounds easy, but you try keeping a straight face while Steve Carell is getting in nice and close and verbally nudging you by saying the word carpool over and over again. A little carpool? Yep. A little carpool together? We're going to go separately. Several, huh? What? <laughs> we'll carpool together. Yeah. <laughs> if you can do it, then you are stronger than us. And John Krasinski. Yes, he eventually made it through, but not before a multitude of takes ended with his face breaking into a big smile and laughter, despite his best efforts not to. Carpool? We'll carpool together. Yeah. I'll meet you there. <laughs> Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. 
If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number one, if I quit, we'll all quit. I so want to quit. But if I quit, we'll all quit. It'll be anarchy. While it's usually another cast member causing John Krasinski to break character, in this oh-so-great outtake, the culprit is all Krasinski. And there's no one else in the scene to blame but himself. I so want to quit. But if I quit, we'll all quit. The Kras takes shot after shot at the lines, even making slightly different acting choices on each one in regard to tone and delivery. But each time, regardless of how he chooses to say the lines, getting through it all ends in failure, as that classic Krasinski smile grows big across his face and he bursts out laughing. I so want to quit. But if I quit, we'll all quit. It'll... <laughs> Does this even work? Which of these Krasinski crack-ups is your favourite? Let us know in the comments. <laughs> <laughs> Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Ms. Mojo. And be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.